Here are the items you will need for an extraction tray setup. Topical to place in the injection site. An aspirating syringe to completely numb the tooth you will be working on. You will need an explorer to examine the tooth for decay. You will also need a mouth mirror for indirect vision. You will also need to use the perio steel elevator to help separate the tissue from the tooth or bone. A surgical curette to remove debris or granulation tissue from the surgical site. The straight elevator is to loosen the tooth from periodontal ligaments for the extraction. Locking pliers are used to retrieve things in and out of the mouth. You will need a surgical aspirating tip and a cotton tip applicator. You will also need a hemostat which has multiple uses during the surgical procedure. This helps to retract tissues and move small root tips. You will also need surgical scissors which helps cut sutures and trim soft tissues. The root tip picks are often used to lift and remove small root tips in difficult areas. You will also need root tip elevators. These are to lift and remove fragments of roots. They are single-ended and rounded or pointed. You will also need the maxillary forceps. These are to extract the maxillary molars. You will also need the universal mandible forceps, which are to extract the mandible first and second molars. You will also need sutures and a needle. This holds displaced or incised tissues in its original position. And lastly, you will use two by twos to use in the patient's mouth so they can bite down and create a blood clot.